Hi Martha, John, it's Todd. This is the wilderness I was telling you about. A um, couple of things I really like about it. The number one thing that I like about it here up front is that it has a smaller five gallon tanks. And what's great about that is you don't have to look for a place to get them filled. You guys can just pull into any AM, PM, 7-Eleven, Walmart and do an exchange on them, which is really great. Anyway, I think this is the unit for you. Come on around here, I want to show you a couple of things. Okay, here's the big difference between the 266. The 266 does have a large storage in front, but Michael, come on over here, let me show him. This is about 10 inches wider than the 266. It's fully finished all the way around, top, bottom. It's done very nice. See how nice they've done the wrap on the bottom of this wilderness? Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Double door entry, just like the units we've been looking at before. It's got the three steps on it, which is nice. Come on over here, I want to show you some things here. John, this is what I was telling you about, about the uh, wide track suspension on the Wilderness. Um, it's supposed to tow a little bit better, take a little bit of the bucking out of the ride. Also has nice uh, aluminum Alcoa style wheels. Okay, so just to give you a little bit about the wide tracks and the theory on the wide track, it's like um, if you were to stand up and I was to try and push you over, where would you have more balance? If your feet were here or if your feet were wider apart, you would have more stability. The same theory goes with the wide track system on the trailer as well. So, And then, like I said a minute ago, they also say that it, it's taken a little bit of the bucking so that you're not feeling it so much behind you, which is very cool. So, you got the power awning on here. This is new colors and everything for 2013. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Just got it. Okay, so um, John, one more thing too is, is with the darker on the fiberglass here, the theory behind that is, and why Wilderness is doing this on their uh, newer coaches is, the old white used to fade a lot quicker and used to turn chalky and it would yellow. So they're thinking that with the darker color, it's gonna look good and last, uh, uh, look new for a lot longer. So um, we're looking forward to this in all of our new Wilderness units. Come on inside. This unit has the uh, genuine simulated leather chairs. We like them a lot. They're 100% uh, cow friendly. Come on in, Mike. Okay, here's the biggest difference between this and what we've been looking at. If Mike can get a shot in the back back here, you've got four huge storage, one long storage in here. Deep enough to get plates in, which is very nice. Dishes for your storage without giving up the big rear window in the back. Isn't that nice? And then also what the other units didn't have is the big three storages over on this side, which is nice. And if I take this plate here, you can see that it's plenty deep enough to put dishes and everything else in there. So Martha, you're going to have a lot more storage in this unit here. Okay. Another thing that's nice over here, if Mike, if you come over to the sink, this has the dual sinks. Look how big this sink is here. And your rinse bay, and then with your pull-out spout here, which is very nice for doing your dishes and stuff. I know you like to cook more. Okay. And then in this kitchen area, we're comparable on the cabinets here. You've got your two pull-out drawers over here with your ball bearing roller guides, top and bottom. You also have your large cabinet above here. But in this unit versus the 266 we were looking at, I'll get you to come around over here, Mike. Here's our little kind of pantry that you guys were looking for for some canned goods, stuff like that. So all the other units we looked at didn't have this, so this is huge. Okay? Your uh, one thing that Wilderness does too as well is uh, if you Mike can get a shot of the air conditioning and up here, there's two rows of ducting in the ceilings. We've also found that in the summer when it's really hot here and we've got a few units plugged in that our wilderness units are a little bit cooler than the other units, so very nice and very efficient. You've got your uh, standard Norco refrigerator. You've got the uh, microwave with the uh, rotisserie inside, the three burner stove, and you got an oven there though. The oven's great, so you guys are on a trip in the Midwest, you guys hit a possum on the road, you're going to have plenty of room to get that in there and bake that possum for dinner. So. <laughs> Anyway, come on, Mike. Let me show you. I want to show you guys the bathroom here too, because it's a little bit nicer than the uh, 
Then the other units we've been looking at, you've got the garden tub here, and then you've got the three shelves in there. What's nice about that bottom there, uh, Martha, is you'll be able to put your leg up there when you shave your legs and stuff, so that'll be great. And uh, let me show you this here, too. Look how deep that medicine cabinet is in here. Very, very nice. And then if Mike wants to swing around over here, you don't have to see it, but your tank monitor's in here, so they're, they're, they're kind of unsightly, but uh, they're right here in the bathroom, so they're not in the coach uh, sticking out where they're, they're not the most attractive things to look at, so. Kind of nice, big windows, windows in the slides as well, which make it very nice. And then here in the back, let me show you this in the bedroom here, which is really nice. You kind of pointed this out to me. You got your stand here in the bedroom for your tip TV, but you also have your chest drawers right here, which is nice. And this is all solid wood. There's no particle board anywhere in this unit. Three nice big drawers. You see how they pull all the way out. So we just got it. It's a nice unit. You got nice storage underneath as well here. Plus the biggest out, outdoor compartment um, in this class. And I know you guys are looking for a little bit more closet space, but you've got the place on each side. I'm guessing you could get 15, 20 shirts in, the, in there. And then look how deep this is. This goes all the way back in here to my arm. This is all storage in here as well. Another nice thing is the little nightstands here. Both sides of the nightstands have 110 outlets. So you can have a little lamp here. You can have your alarm clock plugged in. Um, definitely a nice feature. Okay, let me show you one more thing here too. This has the arc ceiling here which gives you a lot more headroom. I'm a little over 6'2". Gives me plenty of headroom. The thought behind it is the way they designed this, it's also going to shed water a little bit better. Also give you a little bit more structural integrity in the roof on this particular unit. So I know when you guys make this purchase on this unit, it's probably going to be a unit you guys are going to keep for a good long time. I think this unit is built for the long haul. I hope you like it and I will talk to you very soon. You guys have a great day. Bye.